Hi and welcome to this DCP Web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick lower third logo animation using Adobe Photoshop and Premiere Pro 2022. Okay, so before we start, I'm basically making this tutorial because one of my YouTube subscribers asked how to do this in Premiere Pro. So he saw one of my videos and I put this little lower third logo animation in the corner and he was wondering how is it done so I thought I'd make this quick tutorial showing you how to do this. So I'm just going to open up this folder on my desktop and inside there I've got this little video clip and I've also got this uh, lower third logo PSD file. So I'm just going to open up the PSD and all you need to do is you can use GIMP software or you can use Adobe Photoshop. I'm just using Photoshop in this case and we just want to create a canvas that is 1920 by 1080 right? 1920 across 1080 high and I've got my little logo in here and I want to place that in the lower third down here in the corner you can put it in any corner you want but normally I'll put it in the bottom left hand corner it works the best there so what we'll do is we want to rotate this logo so it's going to hold down the shift key and rotate it around at this sort of angle like this and then I'm going to create a, um, a square shape and I want that square shape to be black so I'm just going to make it a black color here I'm just going to make it black it's going to be quite a large square so something like around uh, this size right so just a black square let's click on the move tool and then I just want to grab the corner and we're going to rotate this basically so let's just uh, hold down the shift key we're just going to rotate it so it sits on the corner like this I'm going to drag it into the lower third down here it makes this little triangle shape right nice and easy to do and it will take the logo let's just make it a different color I'm going to make it white so it stands out and I want the logo to be above right on the top layer here uh, it needs to be above the rectangle that sits below it and then we can drag this uh, logo and place it here so we've got the logo in the bottom corner let's make that logo a little bit smaller so it fits in nicely something like this so that's about right you know we can adjust it and tweak it a little bit here and there but that should be pretty good so we could import this into uh, Premiere Pro as a uh, Photoshop file but in this case we need to make sure we've got a transparent background so this hue and saturation we don't need this it shouldn't really be here let's go ahead and delete that uh, we just get rid of that so we just have these layers here and a transparent background we're going to press Control, shift alt and w or you can just go to file export export as so that's shift alt shift Control, and w that that shortcut and in here we want to select um uh, we want to select png and we want it to have transparency so make sure transparency is selected click export and then we'll go to my uh, where are we desktop let's go to here and let's just save it so we've got a little png file and we've got a psd we could use either really the only reason i've got a png here is because if you use gimp software then you want to export it as um, a png file okay let's go ahead and open up adobe premiere pro we'll open up this folder on my desktop as well and we just want to create a new project and we're going to just uh, browse here we're in the right folder that's fine let's just call it something like premiere pro uh, lower third we're going to leave the settings as default make sure you've got render playback on your gpu that's most important we'll click ok so we've got these two files here one's a video clip one's a uh, little logo in the corner we're just going to drag and drop them onto the timeline i'm just going to drag this and drag it on top so the logo sits on top right you can see it here um, when I created this in Photoshop, I should have really created it at 1920 by 1080, but I did a 720 resolution. So I'm just going to right click on it. You'll normally create yours at 1920 by 1080, it'll be advisable, and you just click scale to frame, and it will just sit in the bottom corner. So that's really what should happen when you do a 1920 by 1080. This one happened to be a 720p resolution file, so it's 1280 by 720. It doesn't really matter too much. You can just right click on it and scale it, but it would be more advisable to make it at 1920 by 1080 with the logo in the bottom corner like I mentioned in the Photoshop uh, part of this tutorial I'm going to copy this uh, video clip at the bottom paste it drag it here to snap it right click and then we'll go to duration and we'll just reverse it so we've got a bit more of a timeline and um, the gentleman that watched one of my tutorials I had my like my logo slide in like this it kind of slided in from the side like this and he wants to know how to do that so let's click on the actual Im image itself and you can check adjust the duration of this um, this graphic right but I'm just going to click on it go over to the transitions and go to immersive video and then it's this Mo Mobius um, zoom so VR zoom so I'm going to click click and drag that to the beginning of this um, this image now if we we could also just go to here and go to dissolve and then cross dissolve it at the end so now if we go ahead and click play you'll see the logo kind of sliding like this 
can see how it slides in from the side uh, and that's what he wanted to know how to do so now you know how to do that just remember that you need a transparent image right so that when it slides in it's not kind of covering your scene and stuff like that this actual animation in the background i created that in blender so i'll put a link in the youtube description if you want to know how to make this little sci-fi animation sequence but that's how you do the logo transition in the bottom lower third um, here like this this is how i did it anyway it's very very simple it's just a couple of um, transitions in here in the immersive it's this transition uh, right here and then i just use a cross dissolve at the end so then it just fades out nicely at the end so let's go ahead and save this let's close down premiere pro that's how you go about creating this uh, quick lower third logo animation using adobe photoshop or you can use gimp combined with adobe premiere pro 2022 and it also works with adobe premiere pro 2021 okay that's the end of this tutorial i hope you find it useful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial